What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Nolan Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about Kids vs. Aliens. This is a horror film that was doing the festival circuit last year, but now it's currently streaming on Shudder, and that's where I checked it out. And today we're going to talk about my positives, the negatives, and the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. This is one that I was kind of very meh, uh, you know what I mean? There was some bright moments and some highlight moments that I did really like, but there was also a lot of negatives to go along with it. So stay tuned to hear my thoughts. Let's do this. Roll it. So Kids vs. Aliens is a sci-fi horror film that's currently streaming on Shudder. Centers around our main characters who are Samantha and Gary. Samantha's our older sister. Gary's our younger brother and he has a group of friends as well. And she's like that cool older sister that hangs out with her younger brother and the friends and stuff. So that's an awesome kind of bonding thing that they have going on. And their parents are out of town for the weekend. They end up throwing a Halloween party rager at their house. And aliens come to town. And yes, what ensues quite wild when we get to that third act but like I said it's kind of a big bag of mix but first let's go through the positives of course is that I actually like our protagonist characters and I think we have some cool creative characters like I like the older sister I like Gary I like his friends it's a lot common to some similar to my friends how we would do wrestling moves outside of wrestling when you're not supposed to be but their parents are so rich in this one that they have like their own wrestling ring in like a shed that they could practice on and stuff they make mini movies with their sister and have these cool kind of get ups like the the football suits but they have it like legion of doom style like hawk and animal used to do so there's really cool creative protagonist characters that i have fun with because i've seen and met character you know people like that in my life or i've had fun like that and stuff so that's very interesting and something relatable in the film another positive is that i actually quite like the look of the film it has kind of a grainy almost 35 millimeter look to it you know very low budget the cinematography isn't that great but sometimes i like films like that because they look dated and they look older than they really are like you know what i mean I can see this film like it has almost that kind of Stranger Things vibe going on or you know what I mean or like summer of 84 kind of thing you know the small group of friends and stuff and aliens coming to town like mystery it has the kids involved so all those elements you know it has a kind of an 80s nostalgia type vibe to it but one thing I could say too is that also the alien stuff like when we get to the third act there are some really really decent kills in this one in one in particular with this girl who is on an altar oh man what ensues there was just chef's kiss I thought that was pretty fantastic but was all that stuff worth some of the bad stuff I don't know let's get into the mixed and negatives right now because besides positives in terms of like I said I liked our protagonist characters I liked the way the film looked and some of the kills in that third act were fantastic but now we got to get into some of the mixed and negatives right now and one huge thing the biggest negative for me with this film is that it has the most atrocious dialogue. It's like awful. It's it's like that dialogue that's like, it's kids who get the permission to cuss and they just go rampant with it, you know what I mean? Because they think it's like the coolest thing in the world. That's what this kind of feels like when you're watching this film. And I'm like, damn, like they had me with the story. It was interesting. And this film could have gone two routes as they could have went the PG-13 route of having it, you know, just kids, really funny, you know, very low budget in terms of, like, the story, like, why is keep it small scale, but not have a lot of kills, but more interesting atmosphere, really cool music, and kind of make it, like I said, like a Stranger Things or It Chapter 1 type vibe thing, Summer of 84, but they go the hard R route, which is having the kids cuss a lot, having some really gruesome kills, and when you go the hard R route and you're going to do that kind of comedy, you, it's, it's, it's artful in some form or fashion. You do have to have timing, comedic timing, in terms of the character's presence, the children, and also the writing, so a lot of the younger kids, their comedic timing is completely off. The older sister, uh, she's here and there, hit or miss. And then we have our antagonist characters who are in here who are written to be just the absolute worst teenager antagonist characters who are bullies, who talk behind your back, who use you and do stupid things like, say, piss in your own house, on your in your room. Like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So they're the worst, most stupidest antagonist characters that were inserted into this film. So it does seem 
kind of bland when you do that. Another thing for me is it's called Kids vs. Aliens, and there's a lot more Kids vs. Kids stuff in this film, where it's them butting heads against each other, or then the sister finally butts heads with the brother because she starts liking this older dude, and the older dude hates the younger brother, of course, so there's a lot more kid drama than alien stuff, and I would much more appreciate it, definitely some more sci-fi stuff. They do go for it in that third act, don't get me wrong, but it's like the last 12 to 15 minutes of the movie, and I would have much appreciated, you know, a lot more sci-fi elements, more creepy factor in the film, too, because that would have just amped up the third act and made it feel more potent. This film was not the least bit scary at all. And like I said, another thing is that I do like the way the film looks, but we do have some pretty just bad cinematography, nothing that sticks out or anything like that, and there's no real atmosphere built in the film, and that's what could have took this film to the next level. A better script, more atmosphere, and definitely more sci-fi, more creepy alien stuff. That would have took this film to a whole nother level, because as it sits right now, for me, Kids vs. Aliens in my book is going to get a 5 out of 10, a very average, mediocre rating. Like, you know, this is just a film that, like I said, I could, I'll could, i probably forget about it in a while. I would re-watch it, and I probably would totally be down to re-watch it, but not anytime soon. Like, it would be those moments years down the line when I'm like, oh, I kind of forgot about it. Let me return to it to see if I feel any different about it. That's the kind of thing. So, yeah, right now it's sitting right in that middle mark as a 5 out of 10 film for me. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on Kids vs. Aliens. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your thoughts on this film because these are just my thoughts, my opinions. And be sure to like and subscribe too so you're subscribed to the channel and notified anytime I post videos. Because like I said, coming up soon, I got some other big videos planned and everything. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.